Good morning, my good friend. This is Dr. Cherry, and today we are March 18. I tell you what, it is kind of a very interesting to actually watch my prediction taking place when uh, I am in Los Angeles in my own bedroom. I don't know if you recall, um, that is if you read my uh, newsletter called Catastrophic Earthquakes, Tsunami Warning, March, April 2019. I clearly mentioned to, uh, in the keywords to uh, expect explosion. The next thing I know, from my own window in my bedroom, from my hotel room, I see this big black smoke messing up the entire blue sky of Los Angeles. Whoa, I don't know if you do not understand what the word explosion is uh, or shocking news, because I don't think anybody uh, could disassociate, disassociate, sorry my French, <laughs> the word explosion and shocking. Nobody is expecting an explosion, so it's always shocking. So it does reinforce um, my quatrains and my keywords. Now, as far as um, today is concerned, if you look at the news, this, this is totally insane, people. This is totally insane. Kellyanne Conway's husband is telling the public that Trump is insane. He's crazy. He's cuckoo. It's what I told you since uh, forever, literally, that our president's mind is infected by the reptilians. I mean, if you do not see that... Uh, it, don't you think this is pretty shocking to have somebody that working in the White House's husband telling her that your president is nuts? That is totally shocking. And it fits to this date, the 18th, which is what my window, my vision, the colors of the news, shocking. I'm talking about. Make you think. Now, also... Uh, my uh, quatrains and keywords mention shocking news, but also France. And then there is kind of a lot of unrest in my country, in France. Let's keep going. Don't you think it's shocking to have uh, what a uh, bunch of people being killed in the, in the Dutch tram? Now, you need to understand that I couldn't care less if you support Trump or if you don't like Trump. That is not my political message at all, people. My message is highly spiritual in nature. And what you see now with people killing people, human being, not hesitating to kill 50 people in, in a mosque because they're Jews. If you do not see the legacy of our president is a racist legacy in action all over the world. I do not know what to tell you anymore. As I mentioned many, many times before, when you elect a president like Hitler, the legacy is a few million people dead because we all are forced to experience the stars and the fate of the most powerful man on the planet. Then it was Hitler. Today is Trump. And his stars are cursing. Again, I repeat myself. His stars are cursing the entire world because he was born with the tail of the dragon, which is a very negative energy into the sign of Sagittarius that regulates anything and everything that dwells with foreign people, foreign affair, anything and everything that dwells with religion or the Jewish religion, if you want me to be more direct. His stars are cursing the entire world because he is the most powerful man on the planet. Humanity has not yet learned to understand the importance of giving power to people who are normal. And of course, he's a prime target for the reptilians who have messed up his brain since the get-go. Let's put it this way. Maybe you understand me better. Let's use this analogy. Let's say your dad you see, you have a bunch of brothers and sisters, five, six, seven, ten kids, okay? And the father is a drunk or a pothead. Well, chances are you'll be a drunk and you'll be a pothead because the discipline won't be there for you to stop you, not to mess up your entire health. Let's say, for example, 
uh, the head of a family is a religious fanatic. Well, be sure he's going to find, uh, he's going to build his house close to a church. And he's going to literally force all his kids to go to church. Understand what I'm trying to say here. Use common sense and use logic and use intuition at the same time like I do. You have given power to a man that we are now forced to experience his fate, his sins and virtues, because his decision, not only in the rational world, but on the spiritual world. So the reptilians are now using President Trump's UCI, his unique celestial identity, <clears throat> to create the biggest chaos ever. And that's just the beginning. Oh my gosh, you wait in a year or two from now, then you're going to remember, oh my gosh, damn, Dr. Cherry was right. All right, I said my piece, listen to it, reevaluate it, and watch, because the future has it will always be my utmost precise witness. Now, Mercury is retrograde. <clears throat> oh, I got lost. I end up in Los Angeles airport. Used my other my cell phone GPS. So I was able to find my hotel. And um, Mercury retrograde means also the people I haven't seen for a while, like my good friend Edmunds, uh, the producer of that video that I'm going to do in uh, uh, Hollywood Boulevard today. Um, I'm going to meet him. I'm going to meet his sound engineer, camera guy. So we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. I'm going to, um, you know, ask a bunch of questions about astrology and astronomers, UFOs, and you're going to see the reaction of all these people's face when I start to hit them. In fact, my good friend, <laughs> Dr. G, last night called me. The guy had me on the radio many, many times. A wonderful man. I took some pictures. We went for dinner. And um, <clears throat> I showed him what it means to be cosmic conscious. The waiter, the waitresses, the barmaids, everybody that we spoke to, every one of them got my card. So they were blown away by what I could do. Something you can do if you educate yourself. It's all about knowledge. Knowledge is power, ignorance is evil. So I'm gonna have this on tape. Um, Mercury retrograde means that um, I couldn't do it. I had to wait until the sauce go back. You know, that train that goes back and then jump in it now because I need to go forward with it. You heard my previous shows and I hope you did. If you did not watch any other video, please go back to the beginning because this is process I'm teaching you right now. As you listen to each one of these videos, you're picking up new things each time. But you cannot jump in the middle of a plane when it's flying. That's why it's important for you to go back not only to go back to the first video that I produced when I started this new venture, this new voyage with you, but you also have to read that newsletter called Catastrophic Earthquakes Tsunami Warning March, April 2019. Also, quite important, um, Chris Everett had me yesterday on the show from Paris. We spent two hours on the air. It was absolutely incredible. Um, Chris is like... Um, Lucas on Age of Truth TV type of guy, uh, phenomenal, brilliant, fast, uh, very rational, okay? And I had to drag him a few times back into the spirit of the superconscious in time and space where I'm coming from. But towards the end of uh, the meeting, two hours later, uh, he, he understood me a little bit more because there was a lot of things that he had no clue about because he's into conspiracy. He, he's dealing with the rational world like Lucas did and had a problem to understand why uh, I had time to, I needed time to reconnect from the high sphere down to this world to answer rational questions. And as usual, because I'm so confident, because I'm an ADD, because I speak fast, some people do not like um, my attitude. They assume I'm an egocentric or I'm supremely confident of my wisdom. And I give Chris, of course, uh, the same data that I'm going to give to George Nori because I'm going to be on coast to coast very soon, uh, making more predictions. So <clears throat> this is going to be a very interesting time. Then I'm going to be rushing back home to Phoenix, Arizona, uh, pick up more stuff, my books, and then I'm going to aim to uh, Sedona, where I have two days of a fantastic event, where I'm going to be hypnotizing people, doing some uh, teaching again. Uh, so I'll be definitely very, very tired. Uh, I'm going to finish the taping. I don't know what time, tonight, 7 or 8. Then I'll be driving straight 
back and I will stop whenever I need to stop. I probably will need a lot of painkiller because my hip and my back is still missing me, but you know what? Hey, gotta do what I gotta do. If you wanna get in place, you wanna do something in your life, you, you, gotta, you gotta mean business. You gotta put your will together. All right, so uh, we now come at the end of uh, this uh, little show again, and uh, I will take, as always, this opportunity to thank every one of you for watching and uh, be safe out there because uh, this window could also produce earthquakes. Um, it's pretty shocking windows. Uh, and uh, I am in Northridge, right in the middle of that nasty earthquakes who destroy everything, kill a bunch of people a few years ago. But again, you know, the draconis are on my side. So LA, you're protected. All right, talk to you again. Bye-bye.